Hi everyone, it's Mike Hinder and also kimchi on my lap. This one has been super clingy since I came back. I'm gonna say hi. Hi. Yeah. I currently look like hell and I'm in my pajamas, but I did just get off a 14 hour flight from Seoul. I'm really sorry I didn't get to vlog as much as I wanted to. Honestly, my schedule was so busy there. I was in meetings most day. I couldn't really take out my camera if we're talking to brands about upcoming uh, launches and collaborations and anything so there wasn't really that much to share but I did um, film a lot of things for reels and a lot of footage on my phone so I will be getting around to sharing a lot of that over the upcoming few weeks but this video I can share so this is everything makeup skincare anything beauty related that I purchased or was kindly gifted by the brands when I was in Korea so I've just come back from a two week trip. It was a business trip, but I was fortunate enough that I was able to meet friends and just kind of enjoy my time there on the weekends and in the evenings. There's not as much to get through from say the previous trip because I was there for longer and I was at a two day um, K-beauty conference when I was there the last time but there is still a hell of a lot to get through. I'm literally just gonna unpack everything and show you. I obviously haven't tried most of the products because they are all new, um, but I will share my thoughts on ones that I do end up trying, opening, loving, etc. Uh, et probably in like monthly favorite videos. So let's get stuck in. Okay, so this is the pile that I need to go through. Um, not as big as the last time. So yeah, where should I start first? First of all, on my first day in Korea, I actually went to Juno Hair and got my hair done. Um, I basically only get my hair cut like twice a year and I always do it in Korea because they just know what to do with my hair better than hairdressers in the UK. Um, but my hairstylist Bongu said that uh, Juno Hair came out with its own hair care range, which I thought was pretty cool. So um, I also did the scalp treatment package when I was there and they used this hair treatment on my ends because my hair was quite dry after the flight. So um, he kindly gifted me two of these bottles from the new Juno hair range. I gifted one to a friend just to save space for all of this um, on my way back. So I know that I have tried this one because they used it in the salon and I really liked it. Um, I did manage to go to Hyundai department store and they have a lot of, I guess, like up and coming skincare, body care, beauty brands there. Um, so it was really interesting to see, but I did pick up these, um, bath salts. I love taking a bath and I love bath salts. So, um, I just thought these looked quite interesting and they smell really nice as well. So I picked up a few of those. Um, I love anything Neroli, so Neroli is my favourite scent, so I picked up this body oil from the brand Aromatica. Aromatica are a really nice skincare brand, they're actually known for, I guess, their commitment to sustainability. Um, all of their products are in mostly like glass bottles or other recyclable materials. Um, this one was actually on sale because it can be quite pricey. I think from memory it was reduced from something like 45,000 one to like maybe like 25,000 one, but it also comes with this body massager. It's kind of in the shape of like a gua sha, but um, specifically good for massaging in the body oil. So I love using body oils because my skin's quite dry. And then some hair care products. So if you saw my vlogs from last time, you will know that I went to a pop-up shop by the hair care brand Anillo. I really like their, well, actually all of their products. I've tried all of their products, but specifically their rose um, range. So I bought this Rosy Night Repair Ample Treatment. Um, I kind of use this in place of a conditioner. I don't really like a heavy feeling of using um, a conditioner on my hair. So I usually will shampoo my hair twice and then either put in a leave-in conditioner or a hair essence and then maybe use like a treatment once or twice a week. And then continuing on the hair care theme, I've got this Scalp DX Scaling Shampoo. So this is from the hair care range from Dr. Curicle. So it was basically the only product in their showcase that I hadn't tried. So she was like, you need to try the hair care range. And then 
there's also miniatures of the shampoo and conditioner in this little travel pouch. So I popped into the Beauty of Joseon store and felt like I needed to pick up a couple things. Um, but I actually hadn't tried the Red Bean Refreshing Pore Mask. This is one of the only products from Beauty of Joseon that I haven't tried. So I did pick up this as well as their newly launched sun serum. But I'll talk about that when I go into sun care. And then I also got this clay mask from Shang Pri. So Shang Pri completely rebranded in the last year. Um, we actually used to sell them on our website, but they had quite a premium price point and didn't really sell. But now they've completely renewed everything. Um, their products have been reformulated. Their branding is very different. I think it's meant to appeal to more of a younger audience. Um, and so this is their CC Clear Fit uh, mask. It is a very lightweight clay mask, but it had really good spreadability, which I liked and it was really light. So I guess that would be good at kind of like helping to refine your skin texture. And then here's a couple of, actually, I don't think I've got many eye products. I think I also got an eye ample. So this was kind of a very lightweight serum for the eyes. This was from Shang Pri as well. I mean, look how different this packaging is. Um, really nice. And then some eye patches. So these were gifted. These are the Abib Collagen Eye Patch. I think these, yeah, these are Jerica Rose Jelly. So I'm presuming they're kind of rose centered or I don't know, rose infused. And then also got <clears throat> the soothing eye masks from Shang Pri. So Shang Pri originally was known for their eye masks, so it's a brand that I really trust. And even though they've reformulated and kind of redone everything at their core of their range, it's still their eye, um, eye care products. So I picked up these as well. <laughs> Okay, so moving on to masks, I visited Dr. Althea on my first day in Korea actually, and they kind of gifted me a lot of things. Actually, they gifted these, which um, are gonna be, we're gonna do giveaway on, I think, Instagram. So two bags of Dr. Althea goodies. So um, yeah, I won't talk about them, but I will talk about more of them on Instagram, but um, I also have some modeling masks from Dr. Althea. Modeling masks are becoming really popular. I think when I knew modeling masks, first of all, it was like the Lindsay ones and they weren't great quality. They were quite cheap. They had lots of packaging involved, um, but modeling masks do give really good results. And obviously when you get a facial done at any esthetician or skincare clinic in Korea, they will often follow up with a modeling mask. So it really does help keep mo moisture locked in. So I'm really excited to try these. So this one is their Centella one, and then this one is their Rose one, I guess. Um, but both of these are gonna be really moisturizing. I actually think this one's gonna be really good because I did get a laser treatment a few days ago before I left Korea, and I still have a lot of redness. So I think these are gonna be really nice. And then I got a whole bunch of sheet masks for myself and also Paulina. She wanted to pick some up as well. So I got these MediHeal. I mean, it says whitening. It's basically brightening. Like, they're not going to bleach your skin or anything. It's just like, yeah, radiance. I, I think a lot of it gets lost in translation. But these bubble masks were all very much in. And honestly, I tried one of them. The reason why I bought it was because it literally was like 1,500 won, which is about under a pound um but my skin felt incredible after these so i went back and i picked up some more um picked up some round lab of their mugwort masks um basically just picked up sheet masks that were on sale so this is the abu collagen gel mask and i actually used these a couple times after my laser treatment and found them to be super soothing um this brand the lab telac i want to say um, I don't know what is in this one. What does it say? Panthenol, Alantoin. Okay, so it's going to be just a really hydrating mask, but this one was also on sale for, I think it was like 1,500. One, it says for dry skin as well. 
um, Selamax, again, you can see a theme, a theme here, Centella. And then I got a whole bunch of sheet masks that were on sale from the brand Numbersin. So um, this brand's really popular in Korea at the moment. Um, Yumi only recommended me this mask the last time I was in Korea. It's kind of a little bit tingling. Yeah, tingle pore softening. Um, probably suited if you've got oily skin, but it's still hydrating enough that I can use it. But I will usually use this if I want to I don't know, I feel like I need to like detox or like cleanse my skin properly, then I'll use this one. Um, and then this SOS mask. So I think this will be quite soothing. Actually, this one as well might be a good one to use after my laser, but I'm guessing by the picture, it's also got mugwort in. I also on the same bubble theme, um, got these bubble sheet masks from, um, Shang Pri, and then I got a whole bunch of masks from Dr. Arthia, but I did open the box because I gave some to friends in Korea. Oh, and then I've also got some from P Calm, so I'll talk more about them when I go through all of their other products that I've got. But um, P Calm is a brand that I've been trying for a while now, and I'm really excited that we will be exclusively launching them on Beauty and Soul. Um, but I actually bought a few of these masks with me and used them because they're just really good, regular use, hydrating, brightening, soothing sheet masks. So um, they kind of gave me another box as well. And yeah, that's just another Dr. Althea mask. I was at the airport and I basically had a lot of. Um, one left over so i i basically just went into judy free and said what's your most popular mask and she said it was this one from dr g black collagen 300 mask this one also contains propolis um but there was an insane deal that basically i think i got um how many boxes one two three four five six seven eight nine and then i opened one so ten um 10 lots of, I think there's five sheet masks in each box, four, okay. Um, and I think it was like 20 US dollars. So what, like 16, 17 pounds, something ridiculous like that. Um, purely because believe it or not, I actually don't have that many sheet masks at home. So I basically just wanted to use up my one to buy some sheet masks and that was the deal that was on. Um, only a few cleansing products so this is a cleansing oil from Dr. Althea and then I also got a cleansing gel from Shang Pri which I really like the consistency of um, I like using a cream cleanser or a cleansing gel in the morning when I don't want to have anything too foamy that's going to dry out my skin um, because I do have dry skin I don't really like to um, cleanse too often or if I do then I'll use um, something a little bit more soothing When I was out and about my first day in Korea, I, believe it or not, forgot to pack a sun cream in my handbag, even though I probably had about four in my suitcase. So I did pop in to Olive Young and I liked the sound of this one because it was green tea and centella, it was SPF 50, it was a sunstick for a good um, application, but I didn't know too much about this brand called Round Round, which apparently was a fragrance brand. So they used to do things like um, diffusers and candles, but then kind of branched out into skincare. So I thought that was really interesting. Um, but I picked this one up and I absolutely love it. I mean, it's probably one of my favorite sun sticks um, purely because it's it looks like it should be matte, but it is that hybrid between, I guess, like Tokobo and not as moisturizing as Abib, um, but it just glides on really easily. I like the ingredients and yeah, it was just perfect. Slightly cooling as well. That came with a free little cleansing foam in the same range. And then other sun creams I have are the Round Lab one, which I was kindly gifted. Um, this is obviously the number one best-selling um, sun cream in Olive Young. This one is a Birchies Moisturizing Sunscreen. Um, we met with Skin 104, so I have their Airfit sun cream. This is, bear in mind, only SPF 30. Dr. Althea recently launched a Seeker Relief Sun Essence, so I will try and do a comparison 
of these two sun products because they are very similar in consistency and actually as soon as Beauty of Joe Sun came out with their ginseng moist sun serum I immediately um, thought of the Dr. Althea one because I was like oh it's kind of similar consistency so I do need to compare the ingredients list of both of these but I will do a comparison um, and then speaking of the Abib sun stick I got a um, uh, a spare this was gifted and then I also bought the new Astura sunscreen it says red calming tone out sunscreen I don't usually like tone out sunscreens but I do want to try more mineral sunscreens because it is a question that I often get asked what my favorite mineral sunscreen is and honestly um, it's just really difficult to find a good one so I will try this one out for you and yeah it was one plus one so I figured I would get that Thank you. 